enforcement is integral in the development of a Hall of Fame horse, that's a sign that somebody's doing something right. A second horse in the hall is a nice coincidence. A third is a trend and a sign that the person himself might be a Hall of Famer. James V.A. Carter bred, owned, or had a sure hand in developing three American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame horses, Moon Deck and his sons Top Moon and Jet Deck. Jim Carter owned Moon Deck and bred him to barred mares and got some of the best horses of the era, wrote Ed McNeilis, an AQHA director and past president of the Idaho Horse Council and Idaho Quarter Horse Association. I have seen pictures of a group of yearlings that included Top Moon and other great horses. The corral was made of brush like those in the meadows along creeks in eastern Oregon. Jim and his wife Anna raised cattle, horses, and seven kids on their ranch at Shayville, Oregon, near Jordan Valley. Mr. Carter would haul his horses from his Jordan Valley Ranch to Caldwell, Idaho to work and race them, noted former jockey Kenny McReynolds. He hauled those horses in a stock truck. His horses were the best and kept getting better. I was young and just starting to ride. I got to ride Jet Deck's sister once, and that was a great thrill. Mr. Carter made a huge contribution to the quarter horse racing world, a real quiet man who really knew horses and how to breed them. In the early 1950s, Jim turned over the cattle operation to his youngest son, William Bill Henry, so he could focus on fast horses. Jim relocated to California where he lived at the track while running only horses that he bred and owned. In 1959, he and Bill moved the breeding operation to Clovis, California. A horseman who researched pedigrees and crosses and found the right nicks, Jim bought the three bars colt Bard, sight unseen from Melville Haskell. Though not listed on the AQHA records as an owner, Jim purchased the five-year-old Top Deck Stallion, Moon Deck, for $9,000 at J.B. Ferguson's annual sale in 1955. Breeding him to his band of Bard and Midnight Junior Mares produced legendary horses such as Top Moon and Jet Deck. Both from the 1960s crop Top Moon was a black colt out of the Bard mare, Rika Barr, and Jet Deck was a bay from Bard's daughter, Miss Knight Barr. Jim bred Top Moon in his own name and Jet Deck in the name of his son, William H. Jim was basically a scientist, Ed says. The breeding barn in the racetrack was his laboratory. He did all the possible research, made a plan, and executed his plan without waiver. He never seemed to just go look. He was focused, had a plan, and executed it. The purchase of Miss Knight Barr's mother came as close to an unplanned decision as research shows he made. When he was looking for the Nassau and Midnight Junior mares he had purchased, this filly being left behind raised such a fuss, he bought her and put her in the truck. Everyone needs a little luck and a nudge from a horse on occasion. So, all well and good one might ask, but what does any of that have to do with today's horses? If money means anything, consider the three all-time leading sires in American quarter horse history. First down Dash, Corona Cartel, and Mr. Jess Perry. First Down Dash carries the blood of all three of Jim's Hall of Fame stallions. Moon Deck's son, Jet Deck, is the topside grandsire of First Down Dash's dam, First Prize Rose, whose maternal grandsire, Ladybug's Moon, is by Top Moon. Corona Cartel is by First Down Dash's son, Holland Ease, whose dam is a daughter of Jet Deck's son, Easy Jet. Corona Cartel is out of Corona Chick, whose dam is a great-granddaughter of Jet Deck. Mr. Jess Perry's sire, Streakin La Jolla, is by Streakin Six, a son of the Easy Jet Stallion Easy Six, which brings us up to now. 2021 Racing World Champion Danger is by First Down Dash's son, FDD Dynasty, whose dam is a granddaughter of Easy Jet. Danger is out of a mare by Mr. Jess Perry's son, Takeoff Jess. Time has a way of passing, thus quiet people who do great things are forgotten and never receive the credit they deserve, Ed says. It is easy to forget yesterday and the people who made a great difference. This story of the late James V.A. Carter will never be forgotten as he now joins Moon Deck, Top Moon, and Jet Deck in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. <laughs>